Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Etho, and we are back, guys. We are playing on the Hermitcraft server again today. And the very first thing I want to show you, I wasn't able to show you last episode. We worked on this thing, but then the Mojang servers went down, and I wasn't able to show you the finished thing, is the tunnel here. So this is pretty close to the final look. It still needs a bit of tweaking. The vines are growing wild in here. <laughs> I need to get some string. ASAP, or some string, as uh, B-dubs would say. Gotta get some string. Make some strength potions. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. I know not all of you liked it because it, it's very busy. It's it's way too busy, probably, but uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm happy with it. I had fun building it. Um, yeah, you also said it's a bit brown and it's a bit noisy looking, but here's the thing, guys. This is what you got to realize. The whole point of this tunnel, this tunnel here, it's not really for us to look at. It's more for a reveal effect. You see the... Well, you could see it if these vines weren't in our way. <laughs> we'll just trim them for now. But as you get closer and closer to the end of this rail line here. The whole point of this is to have a reveal effect. This this area here, the room that we're going to build in front here, as you get closer, it expands more and more, and it's going to do this cool unveiling or reveal effect. Uh, and hopefully we build something that actually looks cool in this middle room here, so that uh, we're revealing something cool. <laughs> but yeah, so basically you just go down the rail line here, so what I'm saying is your focus is going to be in front of you, not really on the walls and stuff. They're, they're, they're just there to be there, basically. Even as this is right now, like with it all blown up like this, I really like how that looks. Um, just like totally unpolished right now. It has this really crazy epic feel to it because of the height of everything. Uh-huh. But we do need to get some glowstone. I want to change out these sea lanterns with glowstone if we can. Um, I don't know where to get string, so I probably can't hold the vines back today. <laughs> There's got to be a cave spider farm somewhere on the server, I just don't know about it. But in the comments on the last episode, I was trying to figure out where to get glowstone, and a lot of you reminded me, hey, there's a quad witch farm on this server. Tango Tech told me about it too. And I saw his last video, I think he made some cool, uh room for it, like outside the portal, so hopefully that'll help me find it. I really don't like zombie pigmen. Alright, you win, buddy. You win. I'm gonna pick up my carts and go around. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can find this quad witch farm in the nether hub here. I'm having a bit of trouble finding it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be, like, right here somewhere. But no. <laughs> Unless it's behind all this netherrack here. Like, these leaves weren't here last time I was on. So maybe this is where he was actually working. Could it be this portal? Let's see where this goes. Just out of curiosity. Do a little bit of exploring. I... Oh, I think this is it. Yeah. This is all the stuff you get from witches, right? Including glowstone. Oh, man. Two, three. All right. Yes, this was a very good choice to come here. Uh, I want to check out the redstone. Oh, somebody was here recently, even. Redstone, and this is a good place for, to get gunpowder, too, I believe. Or not. <laughs> Gunpowder has been raided. Oh, there we go. Now I wonder, can we go see this thing? I'm curious to see how it's set up. Is that it over there? Yeah. Let's go take a look at this thing. So there's... It's very rare, but on an extremely rare case, you can get four witch huts spawned right next to each other on a map, and I think that's what they got... I think they picked this this seed specifically for this thing here. 
so that they could build a huge witch farm. Oh, there's a rabbit here. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, there's one over there, one over there, one there, and... Yeah, one over there. So there's four here. I thought they were all together, but I guess they're all separate like that. Uh-huh. Pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to go grab the glowstone, and we will head back to base. All right, guys, so we are back here. I put in the glowstone, put trap doors on it, uh, made a few other changes as well. Those vines really sucked. <laughs> I, I got sick of them. They looked really sloppy, so I decided to put leaves in on the side here instead. That way the middle's nice and clear, and I think that this looks quite a bit better this way. Uh, put in some mushrooms and some other things around here as well. Just a few little changes. Uh, the, ne the next thing we should probably plan, or start planning anyway, it's going to be a big project, is this room over here. So since we're doing a reveal type of thing, uh, what we should maybe do is make it go down a little bit. Like instead of going straight, make it drop a couple blocks. That way, as you're going down the minecarts, you'll be able to see over any fences or whatever we have um, down lower here. Maybe we'll go down... Uh, let's go one, one more block. One more block. Okay. And then we'll start to... Whoa! <laughs> we'll start to level it out over here. I do have TNT on me. we got to do quite a bit more shaping here, but I just want to maybe plan a little bit before we just randomly blow stuff up uh, like we did before. So, one, two, three, four, five. I like to work with odd numbers. So, yeah, maybe we'll start flattening it over here a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Yeah. So, I'm going to start making a, a ledge here. What I'll do, I'll make it run along the side. So, we'll clear out like this. And it'll probably be at least five, probably at least seven blocks actually wide. And then on the edge here, where I'm right now, it's going to be a big drop. There'll probably be a fence built up. Maybe we can just see what this would look like. Let's say we had a fence kind of this tall. If we went down the rail here, would we be able to see over top that down into the hole? Because that's what I want. Oh, let's clear this. Oh, it doesn't look like we can because this is too wide now. Yeah, we wouldn't really be able to see much over this ledge. Maybe we'll bring this in a bit more then. Like over here. That way we'll be able to see a little bit further down. It's all about angles and stuff, trying to make it look interesting. One of the first things I'm going to want to build here is a storage room very soon, because I am struggling <laughs> trying to organize my stuff. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit better. So we'll have... This will probably be our first junction with the rail as well. We'll either go to the left or the right. And we have to put a mechanism in here so that we can choose which way we want to go. Here, let's uh, let's have some fun here. We're going to clear a bit more land. I can't remember. Can you activate a TNT cart with the pressure plate? Well, if you destroy it. <laughs> uh, it didn't work out so well, did it? Tell you what, I do have flint and steel on me. I'm not going to be so fancy. Let's just, let's just do it. Will Piggy survive? Take your bets. I almost think he will. No, he's not going to. Oh, man! Oh, that pig is a trooper. Did you see that? He took like three hits. <laughs> and he's still fine. Alright. Yeah, we got a lot of land to clear here. Oh, I'm going to be paying many visits to that witch farm, I think get more gunpowder. Fire in the hole! Piggy is not surviving this one. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Oh man, he survived. <laughs> Wait a second. I need a flame bow very badly. There we go. Oh, it's a it's like a wave of TNT. Oh, there, got him. Woohoo! <laughs> oh no, I just made a startling discovery, guys. I went AFK a little bit at that quad witch farm, cause 
like half an hour. I wanted to build up the gunpowder and just see how quick it uh, it made it. I think I was there half an hour and I didn't even create a stack. So either I was doing it wrong or it's not actually very efficient. <laughs> Which has me uh, concerned because I don't know where to get TNT from if that doesn't work. Um, but anyway, let's let's try to figure this out over here, okay? So we talked about this. I want to have it so everything in our base is accessible by minecarts. That means, like, in order to navigate the base, we're going to have these junctions. And we got to figure out how we're going to go either left or right. What's the best way of doing that? Um, I was considering maybe, like, honestly, probably the simplest, easiest way of doing it is to... Let's put an unpowered power rail over there. That'll slow us down. And then if we had power rails over here that are actually powered. Uh, let's, just, let's just try this out. So we go down the ramp here. Hopefully this will stop us. And then depending on which way we look, we can just hold forward and we should go that direction. That's probably the easiest way of doing this. But it might have uh, a couple problems. Let's try it out. Alright, so we're going down. Oh, we need more more of a stop for that, I guess. Let's throw one more power rail over here. And that should slow us down enough now, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's get a bit of a runway here too. You'll notice this area is still pretty dark. It's dark enough that mobs will spawn in places, which I'm okay with. I want my base here to be a bit dangerous too. I don't mind if there's a few mobs. Okay, that worked out. Um, so then we can just hold forward to go this way. The only downside of doing it like this, though, is we can't go back. Because <laughs> there's no junction there. It's a cheaty junction. That is very smooth, though, to pick your direction. It's very easy and, and intuitive. But yeah, we can't like go back this direction if we do this. So we would have to have another way of connecting back to this or another exit somewhere instead of going through this way. Mm, another way we could do it, I was thinking, is to use redstone and a bud switch. So as you're going by, if you right click on the, the redstone ore, it, it starts glowing and then have a bud switch detect that and switch a junction. Um, but you would have to catch it in time as you go by, otherwise you'll just pass by it and miss it. And you also have to figure out in your head which way the junction is going to switch. Although you'd probably get used to it. I don't know. I kind of like that first method, actually. It's got a couple issues, but it's going to be the easiest and the cleanest way of doing it. By far. Okay, everybody. So I'm starting to figure out how to build our base. Like, what method I want to use here. Uh, the way I'm going to do it... First off, we're going to figure out where the, we want the track to go, like which directions we want to go and stuff. And from that, we can figure out where we want to put rooms and where all the junctions go and how everything will meet up. And then I'm doing like a rough layout out of stone here. So like flattening things out and building bridges and stuff. Like I want, I want the track to come up here across the bridge and go across and... Then I'm like making sure it's creating cool angles. Like I like this view over here. Where we got like a a downward view on on uh, this area here, right? And the tunnel looks cool from here, so that's good. And from like over here, you know, we're gonna have a bridge going across, so that should look pretty cool too. Um, so just checking all that stuff. And then once we do all that, once we get everything where we want it to be, we're going to start purtifying it. So we'll change out the stone. We'll put in wood and and plant life and probably stone <laughs> as well. And try to make it look cool and fancy and stuff. So I think that's a good way of, of handling this all. Uh, <laughs> now I've also been experimenting with the rails here. Trying to figure out the best way of doing the junctions. TNT is so much fun. That actually worked pretty good. Alright, so... This double unpowered power rail seems to be maybe the best way of doing it. I've tried a couple things here. So if we do it this way, I can always hold forward at a junction. I don't have to let go of forward to pick my direction. So I'm going to go this way. Just keep holding forward. 
the downside is it might not be as fast as possible. I'm not sure. If we just have one here, this is what happens, though. Let me show you. Um, so I'm going to hold forward as we do this. I want to go this way. I can't, though, because I'm going too fast. I don't slow down enough that I can pick a direction. Um, so I don't know if it's possible that we could, like, precisely control our speed enough that we would... Oh, I should probably put that one back. Just a second. <laughs> I don't know if we can, like, go slow enough that only one is needed. Let's just try something here. Yeah, let's try this again. Uh, I'm not going to hold... Or no, I will hold forward. I want to be able to hold forward all the time. As we go through the junctions here. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, that actually works. So if we're going slow enough, we can get away with just one power rail. Because the default, by the way, for this one is to go to the left. You see it was going to the left there? Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, so I figure we'll go up over there. We're going to go down over here, like starts going down into the hole that we're, we're blowing up. And have not figured out where I want to put my storage room just yet. Not today, my friend. Not today. So I'm in the middle of moving my beacon. I, I set it up down there, and then I realized I didn't have any ladders, so I got out and made some more. Got to do like a ladder drop here. <laughs> and put the beacon down. And hopefully this works. I, I think you might not be able to do this, so I can't remember. Oh, it does work. Sweet. I've seen before, like, when the beacon is covered up, like, the beacon base, sometimes it doesn't actually... Yeah, like this. <laughs> I guess it's not working. Okay. So I'm going to have to uncover... I don't know what block it is that it wants free. Oh, now it works. Is it because of that block? No. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I've seen it before, though, where you can't pick it. Okay, well, I tell you what, guys, we still got a little bit of time left in this episode, so I'm going to try build a furnace room here, like an auto smelter. I've never actually made one of those before, but I have a really cool idea for one that I think you guys are going to really like. <laughs> um, so this seems like a pretty good spot for the room here. We got a track going this way. We got to put something here. So maybe we'll just dig in a little bit. And then at the very end of this tunnel, I'm going to put the furnace. And I'm going to make it look like an actual furnace is the plan. All right. So let me uh, haul out some space here. And I'll be right back. There we go. I think that should suffice for a furnace room. We don't need very much. Um, in fact, I probably went a little too far back here, but... I, I got to put some redstone behind the furnace anyway, so we'll just move it forward a little bit. Like maybe, let's build it over here. And I don't want some piddly little one block furnace, guys. I'm going for the real deal here. All right, you ready for this? We're going to go, let's go up even one more block. That's right. <laughs> We're going to go netherrack all the way up, and I want it to look as real as possible. Maybe like that, and we'll light it on fire. And then I'm going to try put stone brick around this and try build something cool looking. And maybe let's go over here. This might be a bit too big. <laughs> let's try. I know you're thinking that's what she said. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, guys. Grow up, honestly. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Uh, so then we'll start making a, like a frame for a big furnace here. I guess we gotta haul out a bit more. This thing is huge. <laughs> Don't you do it! I know you wanna do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop uh, incentivizing you. Can we then wrap it let's like wrap it around and start building something. Here I'll do I'll do it off camera. This could take me a little while. You call that a furnace? I don't think so. That's a joke. That's a furnace. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's what we got. Um, this is the part that's supposed to impress you though. Are you ready for this? 
the way this is going to work, we're going to stroll up on our minecarts. Uh, we should wind up on this power rail. Let's just try that out. I haven't perfected the the power rails here or anything. But yeah, we'll stroll up. We'll park over here. And then to smelt stuff, the way it's going to work, just throw it in. I'm not even joking. Throw it in the fire. Oops. Oh. Wait a sec. <laughs> uh huh. So we'll throw the items in the fire and throw full stacks into and all that fun stuff. And the way it works, believe it or not, there is hopper minecarts underneath the fire here. So it's going to pick up the items when you throw them in the fire. Uh, you have to throw them. Or you have to slide the items in. That's the only catch to this. If you throw it right on top of the fire, it's going to destroy it before the hopper minecart picks it up. But if you slide it in, uh, it seems to do okay. And if we go around the back, over here, we can just go double check. Yeah, so we got a fence gate in there, some cobblestone, all that kind of stuff. Got three hopper minecarts. I decided to put three in so that we would have 15 slots because it takes a little while for the items to trickle out of them. So if I want to smelt up a bunch of stuff, I can do up to 15 stacks at a time. Um, and if we want, I might do this. I haven't decided yet. But once an item finishes smelting, we can then make it shoot out of the fire. <laughs> Back at us like the finished product. Might do that. I've tested it and it seems like... A a few of them get destroyed is the only problem. And I don't know if I necessarily want to wait by here. Oops. But we might include that as like a gag option. Have like that option and maybe have it drop them off in a chest if we want. Uh, but anyway, what I gotta do now, get the items from this hopper and set up like a super smelter over here. I found out there's a cave here too apparently. Uh-huh. But I might do that in another episode. I think we should probably wrap it up for today. I've spent quite a bit of time on this already. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you have any ideas for the base and stuff, let me know. Still have to work out the style a little bit, but we're going to go for sort of the dwarf, dwarfish uh, underground city type of thing with trees and lava and mining equipment and stuff. <laughs> I don't know how it's all going to work out. We'll, we'll work it out, though, together. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Bye-bye.